Well, Jersey player, you know, usually rocking with the Byleth. But as of late, I've seen him go Sephiroth. I've seen him go Aegis. And I know Mao Silver has definitely seen the Aegis over here at the Xeno stage. But right now, we're going to be rocking it off to PS2 right now. Mao Silver off to the races with the Myth right now. Now, the thing in this matchup, you have to play really careful around Sephiroth's burst range and just watch out for him just committing to those F tilts, just committing to those back airs so he can really run in their space. And right there, Miles Silver just running in with the shield, getting his damage off when he's throwing up the Skittles in his face. And uh, Justin is just looking for the retreat. And Miles Silver is just still pressuring on his space right now. And you can see the upbeat just rocking, getting that damage off. And Justin finally getting a turn at the ledge. Will do his best to keep Mouse over there, but that frame two jab is just so, so fast with Mithra. You can just go on in there, but a uh, down smash like that, though, is not going to do wonders for you. Yeah, both players still just looking for their ends right now on this first stock here. Silver pushing Justin to the corner right now, and Justin is still looking to get some damage off, looking to get a really big momentum shift. But Dash Attack is putting him back at the ledge again, and he's looking to snipe out this stock with the Pyra. Very scary stuff, and just shield poking him with the up air. JPEG not really happy about that one. And now we are back to the neutral over here. JPEG is still trying to just shave off what he can from Silver. But Silver is just not yielding. A Skittle, though, may be doing some work with him. Not quite foresighting it, just eating a little bit of battle damage. Still looking to just get something from these back airs. And Silver just has all the answers just to get in. The grabs into the up airs. Just still training him along. Trying to go for the down air to get some damage in. Not quite converting off the down tilt. Down tilt, you can get the up air. But you have to get it very, very close when you're kind of on top of him with the Pyra. But this is going to be really good for Justin. And oh, okay. He's, he's, he's escaping from the down scoop. But this down there, you got to watch out. And that's a beautiful coverage from Silver just on that platform, covering the roll. Pyra up smash is just super huge. It covers the entire platform. It's like a huge pizza, pizza disc. And Mao Silver is still wildly in control of this game right now. Gets the dare, converts off with a fair, and now is just setting up at the ledge. And uh, against Sephiroth, it's very hard to play against him at the ledge. Because he can just kind of plank with the uppies. He can plank with fairs. So Mithra really has to be careful when planning her attack to just run on in there and get the edge guard in. And Justin is trying to find his way back, but he just cannot. He's just getting juggled all around. Silver is just picking it up with the two frame, and he's looking almost for the stock here. But Justin with an explosive down smash is just coming back and taking that first stock from Silver. Now, we can we see the comeback? We know Justin has the wing online. I think it can be really scary. Silver knocking him up with the up B and pushing him to the corner with the dash attack. All right, hello. I'm coming in real quick. Just hello. You guys. Perfect. The game just ended. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm actually surprised. I, I think I've seen, I've seen JPEG mostly use um, Violet. Yes. So I did not know that he actually had a Sephiroth. As of late, he's been kind of just going... Basically, the fighter's pass, too. He's been using the Sephiroth. I've seen the Aegis a few times. Mm -hmm. But we primarily know him for that Byleth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it looks like Mal Silver had a very good grasp on the matchup. Uh, yeah, it was nearly three stocks to one in almost the entire set. So. Also, hello. My name is Syndicate Snivy. Okay. Uh, my name is Booty. Uh, Booty? Yes, that is my name. I'm going to assume that you're new in the scene, like in the city. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to start a game two. And what stage are we going to go? I didn't see what stage they put, picked. Oh, we FD. are going FD. It's time for Toys on a Tear. So it looks like I think JPEG is probably going to want to catch a lot more landings this time around because it's FD. It's no platform, so it's more easy to catch landings. Um, but again, I think right now, honestly, I think Mithra is failure to just kind of beat Sephiroth pretty well, which is why like, I think he has a hard time like really getting in. And plus, Pyro's range is like, it could kind of contest with Sephiroth, so yeah. I, I, I want to see the silly being like uh, an easy matchup for Sephiroth. 
Okay, just holding the shield so he doesn't get hit by the, uh, I don't know what that move is called, but he doesn't get hit by the little orbs. The little Skittles. Yes. Yeah, because with Mithra, Steph really struggles against rushdown characters, and that is exactly what Aegis is. You just run up in there with the Mithra, just kind of run up shield, whatever they got going on, play around their space so you can just get comfortably inside of their burst range. That and, was, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't do that, but, but that was pretty smart because I think uh, Mouse Silver used down B to like air dodge through the forward air. Then he did a neutral air dodge to dodge the second forward air. So. And you have to be Good. careful where you're approaching because you can just expect a very explosive down smash. Much like that with Sephiroth with the wing. You know, he doesn't have much to lose, so he can just go out and throw those explosive moves. Especially when he has wing, yeah. Like, he can just do multiple jumps and keep pressuring you off stage. But right now, it looks like he took the first dodge, but this is, this is already looking better than game one. It looks like... Yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah, I was a little concerned for this stage because Sephiroth kind of has trouble landing against Mithra when in disadvantage. But Justin's making it work out. He's, he's making it work out at the stage, you know. He's rocking the ledge over here, but Silver is just coming on in with that upbeat and tearing things up. And right now we got 172 to 51, and looks like he's really stuck tanking this stock over here. Which is pretty impressive for a lightweight, but... Yeah, yeah you can it, just pop it yeah. right off the top. You know, when you're Mithra, you can just kill at any time. It's a matter of when you finally decide to do it. And Silver just having some very beautiful conversions. Ooh. Just juggling to the edges, looking yeah. to end it all use with his, that down air. Yeah, he used the jump during during the hit stun, and uh, Mouse Silver caught that. So it was an easy read if, you get, if you're going to decide to the stage. That was some really good spacing on that up as well, avoiding the scintilla. And Justin is just still keeping that center and trying to just save off this stock with all the back airs. But, but Silver is just still making his way back, trying to find it in. And Justin... Sweet spot of the back air gets the stock. Let's go. Yep, finally put it in the work. But we got a nice even game here. But with Mithra, you know, a few interactions and uh, your life could be over. Yeah, like, I think right now the, the issue is that Mouse Silver is having a lot of stage control every time he throws him off ledge, so it's kind of like just always a, oh, well, now it's reversed. What's going to happen now? Yeah, things are looking scary yeah. off that missed tech, and Justin is in control of the ledge right now. And that good was such recovery, a good recovery, really good yes. upbeat just to avoid the down air just coming on out. Yeah, I think he paid attention because previously he did a down air at the ledge, so Mouse Silver was like, all right, let me just upbeat earlier and a little bit further to the stage so I don't get hit by down air. So it looks like uh, Mouse Silver definitely knows how to mix up his recovery because as Mithra, you have to kind of know that because recovery is very linear and if you get red, you can just die. Kind of like Cloud, so. Yep, and Silver has to be very careful at the ledge here because it can be very scary things against Mithra in disadvantage. Ooh, you have to... good timing. Yeah. That's it, yeah. I like that. All right. That was a good game. We're going to get a game three now. Everybody. That was. In my opinion, I feel like this match is somewhat volatile if you're not really that great and disadvantaged with the Mithra Pyra. Because Sephiroth has a lot of tools to kind of just Gemper and just go out there and just edge guard her pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. You have the counter, you have, you know, wing was, if you get up to it. That was a good down smash. Like, he knew he was going to, like, chase him, like, down with Ariel, so he just did a pivot down smash and got him for that. Oh, no, I want, I want to, oh wait, wait. You got to start now. I, 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 I wanted to see the last stock. I was going to play no a No replays for you. No. Uh, said no denial so it looks like we're going Perish. to battlefield this time around uh, i guess i guess mouse lover like wants to juggle a little bit more so but i think this stage is still pretty good for tethera too because his up smash can reach the, the entire side platform so his up smash and his up airs just covers you know, the entire platform and just a lot more and justin is doing the work right now trying to end his life it. off that it. air yeah. dodge yeah, it looks like I think JPEG had a really good adaptation from game one. So it looks like he just he did what he's supposed to do. Kill Mithra off, off the stage. I mean, I would expect nothing less of Jersey's finest. Almost winning the Arcadian at Platinum Star. And he is still doing work, kind of just walling out. Because Sephiroth is kind of like a turtle, turtly defensive character. That was pretty good. He used, uh, again, he used down B, which is Mithra's like, switch, to go through the... Uh, uh, set the rock to the foul, so. Oh, we got wing. Wing is on deck. After one wing, Justin is armed and ready. Good parry. Good parry. And Silver, having control of the ledge right now, committing too much to that side B, just giving up that space, allowing Justin to kind of just go up in their face right now and doing some work. And that was a very interesting switch to the Mithra. I get it though, you know, you gotta go in there, get that damage in, and Justin kinda just that eating was, that yeah, side that B, was okay. Very ballsy. Like if that was shield, like you could have died, but hey, he's probably like oh Yeah, you see, 
Zephyrov can just go up in there, and he kind of had to burn the air dodge for the skid to avoid all the skittles, and just ran up in there with the fair. This is a complete reversal for one game one. <laughs> it's funny how it switched. It's like a pendulum. It was like three stock first game, even stock game two. Now it's just. Yep, he's, he's in the zone. He got that download. But you can't be blade dashing into up smash. No, yeah. no, no. So, I think right now at this point, he has to kill him like at least at sub 50. Uh, to, to really like have a chance of fighting this. Because Sethiroth's uh, zoning game is really, really good. But, I mean, Mithra has the speed to kind of like keep up to make Sethiroth not zone. Yeah, and you saw Silver was kind of just slowing the game down, looking for their way in. Was able to get a little bit of damage, and they're trying to just commit off the dash grab to get to pick him up off that tech. But unfortunately, it does not work out. However, he's still piling the ledge right now in advantage. Still locking it down, switching off to the pirate to probably get some big damage on, but cannot be whiffing fair like that. Yeah. All right, we got a back there. We want to get some stage control. Uh, missed time the roll to miss the, uh, the the orbs. Yeah, with Pyro back throw, it's kind of a 50-50s. So he cut. I feel like he kind of hesitated a little bit because he did not want to get interrupted by the Skittles. And now this is going to be really scary at the ledge against Sephiroth, but a really good side B going to be putting in some work and keeping him in this game for just a while longer. Yeah, he's getting a lot of grabs. He's realizing that JPEG is shielding a lot. Oh, missed, missed the timing for that. Yeah, because Pyra is definitely one to fear when you're up against Sephiroth. But a Pyra at the ledge, I can make quick light work of that. But Silver trying oh. to make work of this stock right here, still just gunning barely, for it. You just barely missed that. Oh my god, that was bad DI. <laughs> just barely missed that dash stack, and now it cost him the whole, the whole stock. Yeah, that down smash is terrifying to be in. <laughs> it's such a, like, it's a, it's a surprisingly good move because if you if you have bad, bad DI, you die super early. Mm -hmm. Especially if you get hit by a tip of the sword. And it has uh, several hitboxes, yeah. which is the interesting part. Oh, yeah. It's like oh, a yeah. sweet, the sour. And then the shield breaker part. I guess mm -hmm. it's just, you know, throwing everything in there. And here's the, he caught the jump. Oh, he didn't even jump. He just straight up just hit him with forward air. And he, was, he wasn't he was going to air dodge. Yeah, had no air dodge to burn. Yeah. I just set for off back here. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we're going to get to the last stock, which is, well, not the last stock, but yeah. Yeah, Blade yeah. Dash is right into the up smash. He probably like he probably uh, panicked up beat of, like out of headstone, so he mistimed it. Mistimed it. There we go. What do you happen here? Like, let's see. Bye -bye. He was scared of his shield breaking. He probably yeah. was. Yeah. And then I think he tried to dash in or roll in, because that was definitely di in for no 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 uh, no doubt. Let me see. Do we see di lines? We definitely do. Hey, right on out. Let's see. Yeah, he definitely held in. Yep. Yeah, that, that's sad. R.I.P. Yeah, I want to die di. Yeah.